Hey, coming up tonight at 8 o'clock on King TV, it's Christmas in the Northwest. We've got the finest musicians around the Northwest to play some Christmas music for you. Christmas music. I keep messing up because I'm just nervous about ripping uh, hair off a man's chest or back leg or some other area a little later on in the show. We'll be I think I'm going to be wearing gloves. Don't I get a chance to wear gloves for that? I think so. And then I'm going to hand the waxy strip to you, Daryl, and you can take that home. Really? Sure, you can have it. Oh, All right. <laughs> so at 8 o'clock, Christmas in the Northwest is on. Do you know the story behind the music? Oh, come it's an event that's become a tradition, the release of the latest CD of Christmas in the Northwest. Since 1985, local and national musicians have been raising their voices and money to benefit Children's Hospital. As the crew scurries with the final touches before tonight's special 20th anniversary show, there's one man whose busy work never seems to be done. Do you like the sound of this one better? Steve Lawson is the executive producer of Christmas in the Northwest. Since starting the project 20 years ago, Steve's been responsible for everything from booking the bands to mixing the music. When I look back, it seems like, whoa, 20 years is a long time, but it's, it's gone really, really, really quickly, and it's, uh, it's amazing that we've reached it. Uh, we're going to have a great show tonight. I think the energy level in here is going to be amazing. Pulling together some of the most talented artists around can be an overwhelming task. But when things get to be too much, all Steve has to do is remember why he started this special fundraiser in the first place. When uh, my daughter was two, uh, she developed a case of E. coli um, and got really, really sick. You know, watch your two-year-old who is this normal, energetic, happy kid just lie listless on the couch and not move. And when you're as young as Debbie and I were, you know, when we had her, uh, it was a pretty devastating thing. Looking for help, Steve and his wife take Alex to Children's Hospital for treatment. And the staff at Children's, you know, the way they treated her illness, and just treated us as these scared young parents blew us away. Alex recovered from her illness. How is she now? You know, Alex is doing great. She's uh, 26. She's married. She, she's doing really, really well. She's even working for her dad on this latest release. I love working with my dad. I never would have imagined that I would be doing it, but I think it's great, and especially working on this project, seeing it come full circle has just been amazing. And as long as Steve is around, Christmas in the Northwest will be a gift given for years to come. It is a great album and a great show tonight at 8 o'clock. It's Christmas in the Northwest. I uh, highly recommend you check out the album. You can pick it up at Amazon.com. You can find out more about it by going to King5.com. Love Leroy Bell's Dream of Peace. And uh, another good one on there is, um, well, Tony C's on there. Remember Tony C oh, from yeah. Giving Like? He's on there. And uh, Misty River, Don't Take Down the Mistletoe. Three really great songs. Of course, all of them are great. King5.com. Go, uh, go there and find about Christmas in the Northwest. Hey, we want to give a